And as you confirm, please come out immediately. The miracle is there. Amen. We are waiting for you. Please come out. Why we are doing that, let's quickly go online for testimonies. It's the last day of the global crusade, but not the last day for miracles. Because miracles continue to happen from every global crusade to yet another global crusade. But it's amazing. On this day, we're receiving an avalanche of miracles. Let's take you now to Charles Uzoma from Ahafo, Lagos, Nigeria. He wrote, I've not been able to turn my neck well for some years now. But today, after Pastor Kumui's prayer at GCK, first night, I can now turn my neck very well. To God be the glory. Miracles are happening online without numbers. And we have one from the D this year, aim YouTube channel from Joseph Game. He says, "Praise the Lord! I received I received my healing yesterday." He says he's had terrible stomach cramps, and he believed God. And after the last prayer of the man of God, he's been God has touched him. But this morning, he's been healed completely. Fine. Praise the Lord. Another, another testimony. testimony from the YouTube page of the DCLM from your line Yenkao and she says stomach pain on my right side is now gone hallelujah the power of God at GCK traveled all the way to Calabar and there is a testimony from South South Nigeria Calabar now broadcasting live Praise the Lord. My name is James Michael Ojong from Cross River State. I'm from Idimutu District. During this program of Man of God, Dr. Pastor Kumu Hill, when the program started, I was somewhere drinking and smoking. Hmm. The Man of God came there and preached to us and invited us for the program. The first day I did not come, but the second day, being Saturday, I came for the program. So, by the grace of God, God has delivered me. I've, smoked, I've been smoking for 10 years and drinking. But by the grace of God, God has delivered me. Started from that Saturday, I'm not smoking again, I'm not drinking again. Praise the Lord. More miracles are happening online, globally. We have one from a man of victory and he says I used to have my left eye shaking and contrarily but as daddy prayed in one of the GCK behold he is able to see properly and, can, and uh, the eye is no longer shaking hallelujah our God is a miracle worker we have another testimony from the GS Facebook page, and this one is from Okemute okay, Shonui, and he says, Praise the Lord. Earlier in the day, I had a headache, and it was very painful. But after the prayer of the man of God, I received my healing. Praise the Lord. Dada Nasara from Bornu State, Nigeria, wrote, Thank you, Jesus for healing me from liver problems. My healing is forever. Thank you, God in heaven. 
Also, God bless our daddy in the Lord, Pastor W.F. Kumuyi. Another one from Peace, uh, from our DCLM YouTube channel. And it says, severe is had severe headache and pains uh, all over his body. But after the prayer of the man of God, the, he's been healed. More grace to daddy. Thank you, God. Wina Barnabas says on the DCLM YouTube page, Praise the Lord. My name is Wina Barnabas from Bono State, Nigeria. I have been suffering from partial paralysis. After the last prayer, I was able to rise up and walk. Praise the Lord. Gaba Joy from Abuja, Nigeria wrote, I want to return all glory to God for his healing upon my life. Also, of eight years is gone during the prayer of god's servant i literally feel no pain praise the lord another one from motunya omawele uh, he says says from saturday he's had his he's been vomiting and also has a pain all over his bo his body but after the prayer of the man of god the lord has just healed him Praise be to God. Uche Victory says on the YouTube page, My burning feet got healing after the prayer of the man of God. Praise God. Gifts Paul from Abuja, Nigeria wrote, I had a divine encounter with God where something that felt like water in my eardrum fell off as solid after yesterday's prayer. Praise the Lord. Another one from our DCLM, DCLM YouTube channel from Uloko Stephen. And it says, Hallelujah. I've been having Maria symptoms for some days now. It was raining and I was weak to get to, to, to get drugged this evening. I, he barely copied during uh, he copied uh, he barely copied and during the prayer of the man of God, his the pen is gone and his well praise be to god Hallelujah. miracles and testimonies being recorded all across the world we have another testimony from the dclm youtube page from ikana and ikana says praise the lord the lord has healed me from difficulty in breathing i have received my healing amen and now we return to our moderating overseer. Can we give the Lord a big clap offering? That's not good enough. Give the Lord a big, 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 big clap offering. Amen. Amen. Now we are going to listen to testimonies from the Alpha location. It's not just to listen. As we're listening, please check yourself. Check yourself because your own blessing, your own healing, your own miracle is right there. <laughs> Hallelujah. I am Chief Chona from Mose District here in Zambia. I'm from the Tonga speaking people. When I came here, I came here, I'm a very well known hypertensive patient. And then when I came here, I had numbness on the feet coming to the legs. Now, I could not move a long distance, but I'm surprised that on Thursday when we came, as we went out, as we were going back to our boarding, we had no transport. So my pastor persuaded me to move. 
uh, journey more, more than, or slightly over a kilometer. And I said, no, I'm just going to die. How am I going to manage this? I've never done it, even in my, my home. I tried this way to move 100 meters. I got to rest even three times. Now I said, how am I going to man manage this way? I was very surprised. I said, okay, let me try. I went there. I finished all the, all the journey. I was there. I was too strong. I was not even feeling any tired. So just imagine the works of the Lord. I'm very, very, very grateful to our spiritual father, Dr. Kumui, for his coming here. May the Lord increase his days. Amen. As you can see me, I've clocked my 70 second. This month is a very nice month for me. On second of this month, I clocked 72. Just this month, September, I had no the saving master, our father, Dr. Kumoi, who came to, to restore me. Now this time, my legs, I can move. Hallelujah. This month is a very nice month for me. Put your hands together for the Lord. I thank the Lord most gratefully for using this wonderful man of glory to come and appraise us here. Praise thank the Lord. Thank you very much. Thank you. That is the King of Kings, visiting an earthly king. Put your hands together for the Lord. Yes, let's listen to the medical practitioner. Okay, so I'm Dr. Kanyumbu again, just as introduction. Uh, what he was describing, basically he's already used medical terms. He, has, he was hypertensive. Because of the hypertension, he developed hypertensive neuropathy. So neuropathy is where the nerves get uh, little blood supply because of the uh, high blood pressure and then now you have this weakness that comes to the legs and this numbness and that's how come he was unable to walk and he was feeling this easy fatigability every time he's walking so uh, that's a case of hypertensive nephropathy thank you that was now is no longer there yeah. neuropathy has been neutralized by the power of god jump your hands together for the lord the next testifier Let's be fast so that we can have as many as possible. We are still waiting for your own testimony. Don't hide the goodness of the Lord. Come out and testify. So just keep going. Praise the Lord. Okay. I'm Duko Chilunjika from Chilenje. My son here, Abraham Ngoma has since birth never experienced um, pressure when going to the toilet because he was born with an imperforate anus. Mm. So for 10 years of his life, he's been on diapers and um, could not feel anything. But from Sunday, he came here Sunday evening, and uh, Monday when I came back from work, I was told he felt like going to the toilet and he did go to the toilet. Oh, what are you waiting for? Jump those hands together for the law. Creative miracle. So today when we entered here, the auditorium, uh, he, before we could sit, he said he had pressure to go to the toilet, but I asked him to hold on until the pastor finished praying. So as the pastor was praying and as he said amen, he still said he needed to go to the toilet, and I asked him to hold on until we testify. So my, my miracle here today is that he is able to feel that he can go to the toilet again and he's able to hold the, the stool because if he doesn't feel that he needs to go to the toilet, it just comes out on its own without him feeling anything. So he can now feel that he needs to go to the toilet and he can even hold the, the stool. For about 20-30 minutes now he's held it. Praise Not only the Lord. That. Listen, listen. Not only that, 
God has delivered them. No more purchase of diapers. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus. Jesus is wonderful. Can I hear you shout, Jesus? Jesus. Oh, you didn't shout. I said shout, Jesus. Jesus. Go and enjoy your miracle. The next testifier. Maybe the medical practitioner has something to say very quickly. She's again summarized. Uh, she's made my job easy. It's a case of congenital and perforate anna. So this is where a child gets born without an anna opening. And because of that, children tend not to go to the toilet like you had. And because of that, again, she can't, he can't have that sensation to go to the toilet. So what happens is that every time stool comes to the rectum or to the anal canal, it just comes out. And that's why you heard her talking about the diapers. So that's uh, incontinence, uh, which, which normally presents as inability to hold the stool. Okay. All the incontinence, all the congenital condition, all the inability, everything has been wiped away with a single miracle. Jam your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. My name is Sister Dorothy Saudipiri from Malawi Deeper Life Church. Uh, my problem started, it, was, it is not my problem now, but <laughs> hallelujah, it started some time back, so because it was severe, I was feeling a very terrible headache, I could not touch my head and it was hot. So I went to the hospital, come central hospital, and I went in the x-ray room, when he examined me, the X-ray has asked me, have you ever had an accident? I said, yeah, no. So I said, ah, go into the other room, let my friend check you. So I went into the second room and he checked, he examined my head again and he asked me the same question, have you ever had an accident? I said, no. Then he sent me into the third room and it was the same thing. So the three of them, came together and said, what is this problem? Then they said, let us light a rater. So from Kamu Central Hospital, they sent me to a doctor at the bottom hospital. So when I went there, he also examined me and he asked me the same question. Have you ever had an accident? I said, no. So he said, what's going on? I said, what is the problem? I asked them to tell me, he said, no. We will not tell you, but we'll give you medication. So they gave me the medicine, but the head still continued. So by God's grace in our church, we had Dr. Boni Longo. So I took my papers to him and asked him that this is the problem, but they are not explaining to me what has happened. And he said, I will tell you, but are you courageous enough to receive the news? I said, yes, because I want to pray about it. So. He, pray, he told me that he, I have a lot of blood clots to this side, and that is what is paining me. So I said, is there no way to remove the blood? He said, no, because he, I don't know, it, the nerves were cracking. So after that, I just, I was going, when we came to the meetings, I was still believing the Lord to heal me. So yesterday, I was telling my children, about the elephantiasis man. So I said, I was there when this happened, and I know this time I'll be healed. So we are laughing. I sat there, and you, right then as the pastor was talking, the Jesus was talking about the elephantiasis man, it was like somebody is mo moving an electric thing into my head. I was feeling that. So I was telling my children, I'm healed, I'm healed. So. Uh, immediately the head stopped and then the pastor also mentioned it about the head there as he was praying in his prayer I said I am healed today and when he, I was uh, I was coming here I told my children that I am healed and it will no longer be there it has gone hallelujah 
As I'm talking to you, the pain is gone. But even yesterday, I was putting tsunami just to ease the pain. Now it's gone. I can even beat my head. Put your hands together for the law. Before the medical practitioner will comment quickly, how many years did the problem last? From 2008 to today. From 2008 yes. to 2023, 15 yes. years. Yes. 15 horrible years, not good years. Mm. But from tonight or last night, the story has changed. Amen. Jump those hands together for the Lord. Mm. Please tell the person sitting next to you, why are you hiding your own testimony? Please help me tell him or her. Okay, yes. so what she was describing is a tension headache, okay? Unfortunately, again, there's no medical parameter that can describe headache. It will just depend on the patient's uh, comments. So um, a tension headache and the blood that she was talking about there is just clots. We call it hemorrhagic tension headache, and that causes severe headache. So that's the definition of what she was describing. Thank you. The next testifier, we have to be a little bit faster because we have several testifiers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Loveness Mkandawire from Woodlands District. Apparently, I would have been among those members of the choir. I'm a choir member. But at the time, I didn't think I could manage to be with the rigorous you know, exercise that I'd done there. To cut short, last year in August, suddenly I stopped working. I couldn't lift anything. I was being aided in the home, someone supporting from behind. At times, I would just collapse. So when I would go to the hospital, I would use a wheelchair. Lo and behold, by God's grace, last year in October, at a crusade in Nigeria, a person of a similar situation, that was a man, testified of his healing. My healing, my case is the case where I was diagnosed with a, with a nerve problem. Understand the nerves were being pinched by the bones and the bent spinal column, which affected the nerves. So that's what caused the sudden uh, stop in walking. I went through operation, of course, but with that, it was through prayer. When that man was testifying, I too was testifying. I said, God, as I go through this operation, I waited August, I waited September with a GCK, but I never got my healing. But this time around, if this is the way I'm going to work, I know that God will give me a new leash of life where I can be able to walk and be able to support myself once more again. And I went through the operation very successfully. It was a miracle that within days I could even sit, although it took me time for me to start even driving or maybe even walking. The only thing that remained at the moment was uh, the thing that made me run all the way, which want me to keep on jumping and running is that I couldn't walk a long distance. They got a bone from me. I couldn't sit flat on the floor. I had to sit on the chair all the time upright. And I couldn't sit for a long time. If I sit, then I could have the pain again on the back of the neck here. But this time around, from yesterday, I climbed all those stairs at the Mulungushi conference to the second floor. And I came down with the stairs. So I really praise God for what he has done for me. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Listen, before you go, can I, have you tried sitting on the floor? Yes, yes, yes. You have tried it? Yes, I do. Sitting oh, there. God I bless you. you. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the Lord. A brief comment from the medical practitioner. Okay, so what she's describing is spondylysis. So in spondylysis, what happens is because of age, sometimes the the spinal cord, which is basically the back where the nerves pass, tends to be compressed. So you can have a nerve compression. And when you have a nerve compression, meaning that the nerve supply to the lower limbs or to your legs gets affected. And because of that affection, you're now unable to walk and you feel that pain that she was describing. So normally we have to go into theater and try to relieve that compression. But 
um, it's a 50-50 thing. Sometimes it goes in, sometimes it goes well. Because once a nerve stays for a long time without blood supply because of that compression, nerves don't normally heal. So that's, that's the thing that happens. And that's why she was unable to walk even after the operation. No more OJ! Amen! She was unable to walk the way she ought to even after the operation. But when Jesus visited her, what are you seeing? She's not just walking, she's jumping and running. Put your hands together for the Lord. The great physician, the perfect doctor, Dr. Jesus. Shout his name again, Jesus! Jesus. <laughs> Therefore, Pera testimony, Pathian Chitikila, no Kumiko Seresha Mwevan to Aqualesa. Muna in Tewanu, Bapasta Kumu Ivadi Shire, Kukamuala Secondary School, Okoto Aquatire Crusade. Of your Abanandi, Avale Pepa could deeper life than Amlo Pueban Sende, Vadivane Bavand. Ubufiash Wadi Shupiran Share Quatavana, and I decayed four years without Ukuquatavana. Ofo twaishire twape pavampe perela vanja vero kuva bonza twarifia mu audience mu ground na blembere fia ka pepa na pera prayer request pabu pali barrenness na kwete ofo bala ndiri ati from here ngamwa bwerela mo muye mushite amatevera ifia abana muchite prepare Ina ofo na ire kunganda the following day to afumangale rokruse diapwa the following morning we went back kulwansha na yashta na na matebela muze CBC mna inte wanu ofo na kuata na omwa na precious na kuata na ba na five she is one of them praise the Lord. Let's let's listen to the interpretation. Okay, let her talk. Let her talk quickly. But good evening, everyone. Um, I'm so honored to be here. I've um, heard so many stories about Pastor Kumui, and I've been wanting to meet him. I'm so glad that I met him. I am a product of that uh, 1991. So I would really love to urge everyone, this is the holy ground. Just believe and it will happen. The God that used him then will still use him now. Thank you. Oh, tears of joy are flowing. Give the Lord a big clap offering. Now, quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's just hold on. Let's hear the interpretation. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, she's... Beauty as a Kedi from Luansha, one of the, of the towns in Zambia. In 1991, our father in the Lord came to Zambia at Kamwala grounds. She had been barren. She was not having any children. Then one of the neighbors, uh, who was a member of Deeper Life Bible Church, our sister Mlopwe, invited her. That time she gave a prayer request and then she was told when going back that when you go, prepare baby nappies and all baby clothes and all that. She went back, she bought those things and then she's saying she now conceived, had a child and had other children. One of those children is the girl you are Put singing. your hands together for the Lord. <laughs> Listen to me. September is what month of the year? The ninth month. Nine is the number of fertility. You have got your home. If you have been said to be barren, that barrenness has been cancelled. Apostolic authority and anointing has broken the yoke tonight. Your testimony is already happening. Put your hands together for the Lord once again. Please, let's try to hurry up a bit so that we can have as many Praise people as the as Lord! Possible. Praise the living God! I'm here to testify. My name is Dokas Mlenga. I'm coming from Northern Province. 
uh, I had uh, three problems. In, early in the morning, I used to, uh, used to vomit uh, yellow stuff or green. If I haven't taken warm water early in the morning, then it would mean I will vomit. Even if there is nothing I'm vomiting, but the green stuff will come. And then the other problem that I had was having stiff legs. Whenever I'm waking up, my legs will be just stiff. So I wouldn't know how to, to, to come out of my bed. And then the other th problem that I had was backache. It used to pain me. Even if I'm in, the ch in church, I'm sitting on a chair, I wouldn't rise up straight. I have to bend when, uh, walk, when going out. But on the third day of the crusade, early in the morning, I had a stiff, uh, uh, stiff legs when I woke up. But I even told uh, my husband to start now tapping my legs so that they could be straight. But when I came to the crusade, uh, the following morning, I didn't vomit. I didn't, uh, I didn't feel any backache. I didn't feel any, any stiff leg. And I'm not taking any water, but I'm not, drink, uh, I'm not vomiting. So my vomit has, vo has disappeared. Stiff leg in the morning disappeared after the prayer of the man of God. I praise the Lord. Three problems disappear totally. Can you jump your hands together for the Lord? Any comment from the medical practitioner? Okay, so what she was describing, most likely, although we have to confirm with uh, scans, but what she was describing sounds more of an intestinal obstruction, a high bowel intestinal obstruction, normally in the region of the duodenum. The green things she was talking about are things coming from the gallbladder. So that's a presentation of high bowel obstruction. So normally patients with high bowel obstruction will vomit green things color. The green color is content of the gallbladder. In terms of the nerve stiff, sorry, the morning stiffness, again, old age, we still have to confirm, but sounds more of a uh, spinal cord compression. So in spinal cord compression, normally patients will have that numbness and the pain, and also this severe back pain, which is present when sitting, yeah. Dr. Jesus, shout, Dr. Jesus. No more consultation, no more medication. Everything has been resolved. A miracle settles the matter. Can I hear you say that? Shout it, let me hear you. And it has been settled for you tonight. The miracle is there. Come out and testify. Orchestra, please, before the next testimony. Let's sing and rejoice. We still have more testimonies. Testifier. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Esther Chira. I'm coming from Solways in Northwestern Province. Yes, um, I just want to testify to the goodness of the Lord. So last year, um, when I went to school, the college I'm at, I was having problems with coping with a new diet in school. So before long, I noticed that I was passing blood when I got to the toilet instead of stool. Um, so the school took me to a hospital in Solwezi, and it was discovered that I had some like swollen organs, sort of in yes, in my rectum and stuff. So um, I was referred to go to a hospital, the major hospital in Dola for an operation. So that same week the GCK was starting, and I called my mom. I explained everything to her, and she told me to hold on and see what happens next. So that night when I connected online. Um, Pastor Kumui prayed, and then he came back for the miracle prayer. And I held, I put my hand on my tummy and on my back, 
And then that prayer was over. I didn't feel anything unique. So after some days, I noticed that I could easily see it without pain, um, any sharp pain in my rectum. And the blood is still completely stopped. And as I'm speaking right now, I'm free and I'm healed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. The comment quickly. Okay, so what she's describing is a stress ulcer. So stress ulcers normally present uh, in students because of stress, they want to pass. So you normally have these stress ulcers, they don't eat a lot. So you find that because of not eating, there's high acid in the stomach and it tends to ulcerate. To ulcerate is basically to tear. So it causes a tear. And once a tear is caused in the stomach, that's the bloody stool that she's talking about. So a tear as a result of stress or stress ulcer in short. Yeah. The world is full of problems, but a miracle settles the issue for you. Put your hands together for the Lord. Ah, that's not good enough for the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Faster. Hallelujah. My name is Apurit Namfukwe. I'm coming from Chongwe. My testimony is that I've been having a severe pain on my ink. Here, I didn't know what happened to me, but suddenly in past two months, I've been feeling the pain. And today I was praying over it. I said, God, heal me. This is the last crusade. How am I going to testify? I said, I will not stop knocking until you answer me. Suddenly I thought the pain and the pain was increasing more than I used to feel it. I said, this pain has come back again. What am I going to do? Anyway, the pastor says that I should hold where it's, uh, I feel the pain, where the problem is. When I hold my leg, and then the pastor prayed. After finishing prayed, when I said amen, I, suddenly from nowhere the pain disappeared. And then I stretched my leg, my pain, the pain was no more. And then I said, am I healed or what? I can't believe it. Then I, I went to my mom, mom, I have a testimony. I can stretch my leg and the pain is gone. I thank God for that because God is the doctor of all doctors. The doctor of all. Oh, if you are sure, say it out loud. The doctor of all. Put your hands together for him. The next testifier, quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. So for the previous one, pain is a very, very subjective parameter to define medically. would have to confirm what was the cause of the pain, uh, but it's, a, it's something that's very, very subjective. Praise the Lord. We are here to give glory to God. Uh, my name is Amusonda. I'm here on behalf of my niece. Uh, she, had, she had developed a stroke in 2015. And since then, the other leg would really affect the other one because the stroke was so bad. So as of Friday when we started coming here, we've really noticed a great change. She can walk far much better than she did when we came, when we started coming here. And her mouth, uh, her talking, everything is really gone back to normal. Praise the Lord. Jam your hands together for the Lord. The next testifier. So the st she had a paraparesis. Paraparesis is basically weakness of uh, one side of the limb, very common in sickle cell patients because of the nature of their blood. But uh, we are told there's improvement. Again, we have to confirm that medically. But yes, we, uh, we, we entertain the improvement for now. God is still working. And your miracle is already there. Check it out and come out and testify. Remember, as you testify, you are putting the devil to shame. When you testify, it is a public announcement of your deliverance and a confirmation of your miracle. Come and testify. Praise the Lord. Les amus mam kwai. Ine shale enda pamia ke ibiri. Nale enda fenen koto nale enda moru ya rikake ne mkwai. 
Kwena na anwe miti, kwena ya mchipata ya kwena na anaka. Hero nomba tuwa chisono umu anawandi. Fese ya linja vila kwe watu. Na raisa misende na chawe ine shire enda hawe. Sono mbe ilipawa lelo second time. Mwere ya chisevele. Na mwerefwa na mwerefwa ya tuwala ya bonse. E ito achisa mkwa hili. Pako isa mkuni ina muna nikele muni kanta kwena. Achi njimi afie. E ito achifikisa papa hapa chaichi. Pachaichi na pena paku njikisha pari ya na tampo kwenda kumkonto. Hilo mba tu achifuma kule wako ya tino mba tuisa mwini basfuti kwena achi njimi afie. E ito no mba tu achisa afika no mba wele hao mwala enda. E ito achopa geti pari ya hewele takuliza tu amika teyo na tawe njika teniko. Hilo mba achi njika tamkwa hilo tu achisa tule enda. No mba tu achisa afika muna mkwa hii. Hao kwena, amonu kwena na haka kuruwa kwena. Na ngutara kwa tama haka kwena, kwena na haka kuruwa mwandini. Alalesa musu wa mwandini. Uwapata lesa ni shari ipata. Amen. Can we see this stick? Hallelujah. Jump your hands together for the Lord. The interpretation. Praise the Lord. Her name is Felistas. She is testifying to the goodness of the Lord. Uh, the details of her testimony are that for two years, she's been unable to walk. So she was invited to come, but she couldn't come the first time. Today, she was just lifted to be brought to this place. And after the prayer, she felt in her legs that her legs are now loosed. Mm. Our legs which have not been moving for two years are now loosed. Walk and let us see. Tell her to move. Yes. She's not been able to do this for two years. Put your hands together for the Lord, people of God. The blessings are permanent in Jesus' name. A louder amen. amen. The next testifier. A little bit faster. Your own testimony is there. Come out and testify. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. My name is uh, uh, Anton Piri. I'm from within Lusaka. Uh, when the, the, the problem which has brought me here, I, was, uh, I had an operation in June, right. somewhere here, in a laparamatory operation in the intestine. The intestine were cut, then joined again. That was in June. Then from that time, it developed uh, the pain onto my ano, my, my ano system behind there. So when I was coming here, I had a very I had a severe pain. I was seated behind somewhere, just behind after the pitch, behind there. I was seated with some pastors there. Then he, as the man of God was praying, uh, he said, this is, your, this is your last day today. You are healed. Just believe. Then from that time, I just felt light. That's how, that's what my testimony, that's how, that, is, that is my testimony. Then the, the pain, uh, how about the pain? The pain is gone, it's no more. You felt light and I've, the pain disappeared. I felt, I felt so light. I felt so light. That pain, I couldn't work because I'm a, I'm a military man. Praise the, the Lord. Then I couldn't do my duties. Praise the Lord. The pain was severe. Even was, when, I, when I was entering the stadium, the pain was too much. It was too much on my ano, on my ano. It was too much. But after the man of, was, my man of God was praying, I was seated behind there, then that pain, it went. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jam your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, uh, medical practitioner. 
Okay, so we have to still ascertain the cause of the laparotomy. We didn't get it from the story, but what he's saying is uh, he had an operation. Uh, the procedure is called a laparotomy. A laparotomy is where we open the abdomen to have access to the small intestines, probably due to several reasons, a cut and the like. But after the operation, because of suturing or joining of two segments, so normally we cut out a segment of the intestines and then resect it or rejoin it together. So normally because of that join, it tends to produce what is called as peritoneal pain and that's what he's describing, yeah. Amen. But Amen. the pain has disappeared. It has gone, the pain has Jump your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. It felt light, the body was rolled away. The body has been rolled away from you. Thank you very much. And you are going with your miracle. Very quickly. Just move a little bit. Okay. Ah, yeah. Should look at the camera. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank God for what He has done in my life. Um, I was uh, diagnosed with um, um, low blood pressure, and I haven't been well for quite some time. But I remember when I was just going through my Facebook page, uh, I found the. Uh, the video where Pastor Komui was preaching about the difference between a sinner and a saint. Then, uh, instead of me skipping it, I was trying, like, uh, I, I know this pastor. Let me just try to follow the, uh, the video. Then, uh, as he was preaching, uh, I was caught and I couldn't do anything apart from listening to it. And then, uh, something transpired in my life, and whereby anything that I could just remember what, what he was uh, preaching, where he said that, no, if you, if you deny the voice of salvation, then you are rebelling uh, against the Savior. And then after that, I, I tried to look like, where can I find the deeper Christian life ministry? And then I was allocated, and then they told me to say, no, we're having, uh, uh, we're having a crusade uh, uh, to Hilo Stadium. Then... That's how I made an effort and come here. Then uh, there was a time where I said, uh, try to uh, pray, uh, as we are praying for you, touch where the problem is, and then you lift the other hand. And I did that. Then um, as he was praying, I just felt like something moved out of me. And mm. today I've just been tested. I'm just been from being tested by the doctor here and I've just been confirmed everything is normal. I Jam your I hands together for the Lord. I couldn't stand like for five minutes but believe you me, God is there. God is there. God can do anything. Please, if you believe God is there and I thank God for what he has done in my life. If it wasn't for this uh, the men of God, let's uh, pray for our leaders so that please they can save as many lives as possible. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the Lord. A, a quick comment. Uh, we will have to verify the low blood pressure. We have to get a BP profile. So for now, we thank God, but we have to get a BP profile to ascertain it. And like he said, the doctor tested him before he came to testify here. That is a great confirmation. Medically confirmed miracle. High blood pressure, low blood pressure, a miracle normalizes them all. Jump your hands together for the Lord. Our father who testified, the Royal Highness, we have confirmed he had that high blood pressure for not less than 11 years. But God has destroyed and broken that yoke. He's totally free. Your miracle is there. Check it and come out and testify. The next testimony. We still have several testifiers there. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. My name is Len Swanda. I'm here to testify on my sister's behalf here. She never used to walk properly. She used to bear walk like this but today just after the final amen she's healed she's able to walk properly as you can see praise the lord wait 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 show us how you are working before the miracle then how you are working before the miracle she, see she Let's used see. to walk as if the other leg is short uh, show us show us want to see 
Okay. Now, how are you working after the miracle? Okay. March and let us see. Just march. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm very grateful. May the Lord. Jump your hands God. together for the Lord. <laughs> she was walking like somebody who had one leg shorter than the other. But now the Lord has stretched out everything and she's walking properly and normally. I said, jam your hands together for the Lord. <laughs> we would have loved to continue, but we have to round off here. Please, all other testimonies should be shared in our countries, districts, or churches. We want to thank the Lord. He's been wonderful. In fact, not wonderful. Seven wonderful. Ten wonderful. Twelve wonderful. Hundred wonderful. And the blessings are permanent in Jesus' name. Can we all rise up? and rejoice before the Lord. We're going to sing together. It's a miracle walking God. It's a miracle walking God. He's the Alpha and Omega. It's a miracle Sing and rejoice. Let's rejoice before the Lord. 